My shopmates and I were looking for a liquor cabinet, and so we stumbled across this old safe and thought that'd be pretty cool. We'll weld out some legs, but it's also pretty difficult to get into, particularly after you've had a couple drinks. So my thought was, why not wire up an Arduino with a stepper motor that could crack the safe instead of having to do the combination yourself. I started with a quick fusion sketch for a metal base to put the safe on. Then I went to work welding it together. I want to put a mesh shelf on the bottom of this and from my trailer scraps I've got this nice big piece for these two angles. So the question is do I just cut out a small piece out of my big scrap or try and painstakingly weld all this together? I think you know what I'm going to do. Okay, a little bit of grinding and filing, and I think that looks fine. Good enough to hold uh, some solo cups, I guess. I'm just gonna take a 3 8 inch nut, weld it in the corner. The electronics on this project are pretty straightforward. Uh, an Arduino is connected to a keypad and also a NEMA 17 stepper motor, which actually turns the combination. The stepper motor is powered by an easy driver. I'll put a link to the Arduino program for this project in the description, but I'll also put a link to a video I made about how I made it without knowing how to code, basically how I mashed together other people's projects to make my own stuff. If you open up the door, there is a panel back here that you can take off. So when you take this panel off, it quickly becomes apparent that this is some sort of novelty safe. All this mechanism in here, I'm sure, is not actually meant to keep anybody out. Even like a crowbar or something, you could probably just pop it right open. The main problem here is that the stepper motor sticks out further, if you focus, than the knob that we're trying to turn. So what I actually ended up doing was cutting this corner with a sawzall, bending it over, grinding it, and then welding. And now we got a custom bracket that fits perfectly like this, and then the motor goes in, and it's perfectly aligned with our dial. I went to my local electronics store to get ripped off, but they had a belt in stock that was 12 inches long, which I think is what I need. I'm hoping it's just a little tight, and we can stretch it around. And if that wasn't meant to be, Start with the lock. Dude. Okay, I'm gonna type in the combination. One, two, three, four. Are you serious right now? I figured out that if you set the rotation value in the program to 49.52, it is exactly one revolution. Okay, zero, zero. And I just did this over and over and over again, probably 10, 20 times in a row just to make sure we didn't drift. And we're actually looking like we're drifting towards one. It means the 52 is just a little too little. So this needs to be 49.53. Okay, big moment. I think I've got it all worked out. If I type in the code, three, four. Come on. Yes. I got an Arduino case, some sticky tape. Nice. Like For the light inside, I slightly modified one of those as seen on TV tap lights by extending and reversing the switch wires. So for the light on the inside, I just extended those wires. You kind of see I just drilled a hole for the switch to come through. 
then used a little bit of that uh, JB Weld epoxy putty to make a little bracket, sort of, kind of, for the back of it. And now, actually I need to test this, I'll put you in here. Hopefully you can see the light there. And when I close the door, hopefully the light went off, and then open you back up. And hopefully the light turned on. All right, I got it all loaded up with drinks. So there you have it. I think it's pretty sweet. I like the way it turned out. That kind of gives you an idea of what it looks like. Works really well. I got it dialed in real good. I need to change the pin. But it seems to hit its mark every single time now if I go up to like 10 times in a row. Occasionally, I have to reset to zero, which is not a big deal. If you reset, you're just gonna turn it a little bit and then put your code in again. Super cool. Something I did not consider when I was making this is that I really wanted this thing to be like duh, 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 like super fast, robotic, really fast. Problem is this safe is so cheap that the mechanism in here just can't keep up with high speed. So I did a lot of tweaking and this is the fastest that this thing can turn, unfortunately, which is a little disappointing, but still pretty cool. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.